working from home. You know, they, they've uh, come up with a new law that was proposed before Congress. I always love how they name these laws because it'll be simplification, stim stimulization, which they've done. This law is called the Home Office Deduction Simplification and Improvement Act of 2009. Wow, that sounds good, doesn't it? Simplification and improvement. Uh, what they've determined is a lot of people are not deducting offs in the home because they are either scared to do so, it's too complicated, so they're going to try to simplify it and improve it. So we'll see, see how that works. But certainly an office in the home, uh, there's nothing wrong with claiming it as long as you follow the rules, understand what's there. The problem most people get into, you've got to use it exclusively for the business. Now, the new law is probably going to vary from that, give you some variation of the exclusive use. But we claim office in the home. If you work at home and that's your primary location of business, we're going to claim office in the home. Some accountants won't do it because they're scared of the IRS. They changed the law in 1998 to make it easier to do and allow you to claim it. Prior to that time, they... They, uh, there was rules that made it real hard to claim Austin in the home, but when they changed the law then, uh, now they're going to make it easier in the Simplification Act. So we'll see how that works. Now, for furniture, naturally if you've got office in the home, well, then you're able to claim the furniture that you buy for that office. But in addition to that, you're able to claim the furniture you've had in that office. You've got a computer you've had for three years while you were working for someone else, then you go home and start working at home. You're able to take the fair market that value of that computer at the time you put it in the business and claim that as a deduction uh, for depreciation purposes. So when you claim the office in the home, you need to look at, well, what's in that office that you're using that you've had for maybe 10 years and look at the valuation of that stuff and be sure that you're claiming the depreciation on that. 